Well, good afternoon. We're here for another Ship to Shore live presentation. We have a very, very, very special guest today. I'm just going to share a little bit about his experiences, some of the things that he's gone through in order to get to where he is today. So without further ado, sir, I'm going to let you introduce yourself and then we'll go ahead and we'll start this conversation. I'm interested. Uh, hey, hey, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Rear Admiral Butch Delaga, Commander of Submarine Group 7 here in Yokosuka, Japan. Uh, it, it's, uh, I'll tell you, one of the things Isaiah asked me to talk about it, is my background. And uh, I'm the son of Filipino immigrants. Uh, and so I'm first generation Filipino American. And I honestly didn't think I would be here today. If you asked me what I would have done when I was a child growing up, I would have said, I'll probably be an engineer. Looking back the past decade, I would call Crofton, Maryland as my hometown. Really, that's where my youngest two kids were born and, and raised for pretty, pretty much the last decade. I joined the military uh, right out of high school uh, because my parents couldn't pay for college. And uh, I was able to go to the Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. So it was 20 minutes away from Crofton, Maryland. So that's where I kind of <laughs> got the Maryland vibe uh, and the bug. Uh, and love the area. And I thought I was gonna get out in five years. Uh, but I'll tell you, the experience I had in the submarine force is what really kept me in. And I'm driven by science, technology, engineering, and math, and STEM. And so I said, hey, what's the best platform for me? And the submarine is absolutely the epitome of a STEM platform. Because if you're underwater, you can't just suck oxygen. Uh, so <laughs> you gotta develop it yourself. And so we generate uh, uh, oxygen as well as scrub out the carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So we, so we can continue uh, to maintain our atmospheres while underwater for those long periods of time. Uh, I actually am the theater undersea warfare commander. So I ensure the United States Navy maintains our undersea dominance. So. Uh, uh, I'm commander of submarine group seven, but I also am commander of task force five, four for fifth fleet and commander of task force seven, four for seventh fleet. But I've got a lot of help, Isaiah. I've got a lot of help. And that is what I love about my job. Uh, we, when required to maintain our undersea dominance, uh, we have airborne assets, the P-8 maritime patrol aircraft, so aviation. Uh, we have the great Arleigh Burke uh, destroyer with that anti-submarine capability, the DDGs with their active and their tow to ray sensors. Uh, we have unmanned vehicles uh, that we operate uh, in theater. And then we have the submarine. So all three major warfare areas I get to control under the theater MC warfare commander in both again, fifth and seventh fleets for a vast area. These are, you know, 18, 19 year old uh, sailors who get these platforms up. They integrate the intelligence that we have and then uh, they brief me and we get to make informed decisions based on the information that we have to make sure we place our assets in the in the best position to to execute a successful mission. What I love about being on board a submarine is what we call mission command in the Navy. The ability to have decentralized control. Uh, your commander gives you your mission, your tasking, and that team on board that submarine figures out how to execute that mission. Uh, because at 800 feet below the surface of the ocean, you can't just phone a friend or phone home. <laughs> and so you execute those missions and you come back successful. And then you can finally tell people what you were able to accomplish in defense of our nation. For me, the key was making a difference with the young men and women that I was able to interact with in my multiple uh, duty stations on submarines and ashore. Uh, those who have volunteered to defend our nation and protect our way of life, uh, to be able to influence them in a positive light, again, helps drive me to do what I do today.